Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go ahead and install a custom package created by Cronus with the PS5 icons. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and install it on our PS4, but yeah, let's jump right into it. You can go ahead and jump on Mod Consoles and download the package file. Um, I already got it downloaded here. We'll just go ahead and open it. And we can go ahead and just drag over the package to a root of a USB. Shouldn't take too long to copy over, but yeah, once it does get copied over, we can jump over to the PS4, get the jailbreak done, and get this installed. Okay, guys, so now that we're over to the PS4, I will go into settings. I will show you that I do not have debug settings as well as I don't have the Gold 10 options. Um, as for my network, it should be disabled. Uh, I already went ahead and added it to my cache, so everything's good to go. Go ahead and launch our browser. Okay, and we'll just go ahead and click on Jailbreak. Give it a few moments here, and we should get it pretty quick. Okay, so there's one memory error. Okay, so we are going in now. Give it about 30 seconds. It shouldn't take too long. Uh, there is three sets of messages that do pop up, but uh, yeah, they do come pretty quick. So there goes our second set of messages. Okay, and there's our final set. Now we'll just wait for waiting for clients to pop up. It's usually less than 20 seconds. Okay, waiting for clients. Launching the payload. And goal 10 2.0 loaded. We can go ahead and just hit OK. Okay, it just ignore that error message that pops up. Go ahead and hit our PlayStation button now. Go over to our settings. We'll show you that we do have goal 10 and all of our options as well. We do have our debug settings with all our options. So we'll go ahead and go up to Goal 10. We'll go to Package Installer. If you don't already have your USB plugged in, you can go ahead and just plug it in now. Okay, just give me, I just plugged it in, so there we go. So just before we do install these here, just so you know that they are permanent. So just be aware of that. If you don't like the look of them after they're installed, uh, just don't bother installing them then. But I will show you what they do look like once they are installed. So we'll go ahead and install it. Okay, and it installs pretty quick there. So we'll go ahead and back out now. Okay, so you can see that none of the icons actually changed. This one did add here. So we can go ahead and select it. We'll go ahead and just fix our screen here if it's not already fixed. Uh, we'll go ahead and go like so. Go ahead and X. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and flash new icons. Okay, it does give you a warning here. Um, just make sure that you know what you're doing that you will not be able to go back unless you do an actual system install. So let's go ahead and hit I agree. Okay, and it should reload. Okay guys, so it does do a power off, so we'll just hit the power button and get it to power back on. And we'll give it a few moments here just to get booted up. Okay. There we go. Go ahead and hit our PlayStation button. Go ahead and log in. Okay, so there's our icons. You can see as they are all changed. Uh, we can go into library and we can go through them. Pretty much 
every icon is on the main screen there. We're going to go ahead and install a few games and uh, change those as well as to some homebrew apps that I want to be able to put on here as well. But let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to skip ahead and get a few things installed. Okay, so I went ahead, I installed GTA as well as a few apps that I'm going to use. As you can see, I got them installed. I went ahead and I did the jailbreak already. So you can see that we do have Gold 10. We're going to go ahead and enable the network so we're able to connect to our PS4 from the computer. And we're going to go up to Gold 10 and enable FTP server. Now you can enable the payload if you want port 1337, but port 2 or 2121 works just as good. So let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and we'll go from there. Okay, so now that we're over at the computer, we will need a program as well as our icons. Uh, you can go ahead and download Iconit PS4 tool from this link right here. And then you'll need the icons by Starkiller91, and you can go ahead and download them. I went ahead and I already downloaded them. The icons do come in. They have the system icons. Now you can go ahead and use these if you want, but you will have to add them manually. Uh, Cronus's package file has them already. They're just gray instead of blue. But, uh, yeah, it's up to you. You can go ahead and manually add these. Icon it at the time of the video. doesn't do system apps. Uh, it only does homebrew and games. But, uh, yeah, we're going to PS4 games. Not all PS4 games are here, but the uh, majority of them are. You can go ahead and use them as well. Uh, as for homebrew, you have your homebrew apps here as well. You can go ahead and use them. Let's jump into the program here. Uh, once you do download Icon, you can go ahead and install the uh, Image Magic. I believe that is used to make images, make your own icons. But uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and launch Icon it. Okay, and we're going to Settings first. Go to Options. And from here, we're going to change the port. You can use the 1337 payload uh, for that FTP, but uh, it's a lot easier just to use the default one. So we'll go ahead and switch that to 2121. And we can type in our IP address here, 10.0.0.231. Oh. Uh, I hit three once. Okay, there we go. And right here, we're going to go ahead and show homebrew. We'll say yes to it and hit save. Now it doesn't come up automatically, but we can go ahead and just close out of it and relaunch it. Okay, and we're good to go. So we'll just go ahead and hit connect PS4. We can close out this back window as we don't need it anymore. So you can see that it is uh, downloading everything, and there we go. So we have seven icons. Let's go ahead and go through them. And you can see that... Uh, we can go ahead and change these. Okay, so let's start at the beginning. Go to our first one. First one is the playroom. That is default. That's already changed with Cronus' uh, package file. So we can go ahead and skip that one. Go ahead to Netflix. We'll go ahead and change icon. Just going to back out of this folder and we'll go into our Starkiller91 folder. To our apps. And we'll go ahead and choose Netflix. Okay. And then we'll go ahead, resize and upload. And we'll say yes. And OK. Now we're good to move on to the next one, GTA. We do the same thing. Change icon. Back up one. And go into our killer folder. Go into games. And we just got to scroll through. They should be alphabetical order. So if we go down to G. Right here, GTA. Let's go ahead and select it. Same thing, resize and upload. Choose yes. Hit OK. Move on to our next one, YouTube. Change icon. And we'll go into our homebrew apps. And YouTube's right there. I'll resize and change. Hit OK. Go on to our next one, PS4 Explorer. Go ahead and go in. You get the idea. We just got to go through them individually. Um, and resize and upload. Hit OK. And I think we have two more to go. So easy. Same thing. 
I wish that it would remember the last folder that I was in, but uh, maybe in an update we may see that as well as the system apps, hopefully. Go ahead and choose that. Resize and upload. Go ahead on to our last one, which is the home brew store. And there we go. Go ahead and resize and upload. Choose yes. And OK. Now that that is done, we can go ahead and jump over to the PS4. OK, so now that we're back over to the PS4, you can see that the icons didn't take at all. Um, we'll have to do a reboot, but uh, before we do a reboot, I just wanted to point out that some homebrew apps don't show up as you can see the payload guest as well as Orbis's FTP didn't show up when we opened up icon it maybe in an update we will see that as well as the system icons but let's go ahead and do a reboot um, I'm gonna do it pretty quick here and then we'll be right back okay so we'll go ahead and hit our PlayStation button and we'll get logged in here and there you go, you can see our GTA icon did change. We can go to our apps and you can see they changed as well um, as for the payload guest and Orbis's FTP. Maybe in an update we'll see that there we'll be able to change them as well. You can always go in manually through FTP and just go in and switch the icon. Maybe we'll get into that in another video. But that's it for this video guys, I hope you did enjoy it. Go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.